Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the track spacer in your dishwasher. The reason why you might have to do this is because the spacer is broken or damaged. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the dishwasher we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Whirlpool. Now keep in mind, yours at home might be a little bit different than what we have here, but the same technique should still apply. Also keep in mind, we don't have a countertop for this, so we're actually using some weights to keep it weighted down so it doesn't tip over on us. So you might want to consider that when you're at home and if you have to take out your dishwasher, uh, make sure that you're not doing anything to tip it over and make it fall on you when you're doing a repair as well. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our dishwasher here. So we'll pull out our top dish rack here. And in order to get the dish rack off, we're going to have to take off the stoppers on the end here. So we'll just pull straight up on that and pull it out. And same thing on this side, we're going to pull straight up on the stopper and then pull it straight out. Now with the stoppers out of the way, you should be able to pull your dish rack straight out. So this piece right in here is our dish rack track, we've got one on either side. So on this rail right here, on the back, it's got a stopper here just like in the front. So we're going to squeeze in and then push it up in order to get that stopper out. And there we go. And now with that stopper out, we can pull out the track. And then we'll remove the spacer from the track. So now you can grab your new OEM replacement track spacer. And if you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. And now we're going to put our spacer into our track again. So we'll just set it right on that side. It doesn't matter what side you put it in on because it'll go all the way to the end either way. But you're just going to want to make sure that when you do put it back in, it's facing towards the back here, just like so. So now we're going to put our rear stopper back in place. We're just going to line that up there and put it straight down. And it sits right there. And now we'll take our upper rack and we'll line up the wheels and get those inside of the track there. And push that all the way back. We just want to make sure that both go inside. This one didn't. So we're going to try one more time and slide it all the way back. So now we're going to slide our track out just a little bit again and we're going to put our stoppers back in place. There we go. So that'll stop the track from going out again. And now we can close up the door and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCAppliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.